what's going on everybody I don't know if you guys can see me because it's very low lighting but I wanted to make a small and quick tutorial for you guys on how to shoot in a very dark place with a small camera like the a6000 right which I'm sure most of you guys would have and first of all as you can see this um, environment here is very dark the camera kind of picks it up a little bit better than real life like real life you can barely make up the details in the car we're actually in the biosphere right now got a nice backdrop we got Johnson here helping me you can barely see him but first of all you're gonna get a tripod all right so we got a tripod here set up at a very low angle to get a more dramatic look second of all I would recommend having like a prime lens which can open up to like a 2.8 or wider what kind of lens you got man? Sigma 30mm 1.4 yeah so he has a very wide aperture lens which will give in more light right so first of all you need to set your aperture to 1.4 which is the widest it can go right so you want to let in as much light as you can sorry if you guys can't see it properly I know this is not the best lighting situation all right so once you got that done you're gonna want your ISO to be as low as you can so for this camera it would be 100 and that will give you the cleanest shot possible right if you go higher yes you're gonna get a brighter image but the quality will definitely decrease so you're gonna see grain or any noise in your picture so if you have it as low as you can you'll guarantee that you have the cleanest possible picture the most important thing you need to do is to change the shutter speed in this situation since you already have a really wide aperture you're going to want to make it around one to two seconds right so you can just experiment with that so let's take a shot at one second see how that looks all right sorry guys my uh, camera just died because of the cold so I'm shooting on my phone right now so bear with me on the quality but as you guys can see, Johnson's got the camera settings at 1 second shutter speed, aperture's at 1.4 which is the widest it can go, as well as ISO at 100. So we're going to take a shot see how that looks. Sweet, so we're going to definitely edit that before this video goes up and we're going to show you on the video. So that looks pretty good, let's see one at 2 seconds. Yeah, I think both are good options. What do you think, Jonathan? I don't know. We'll see once we edit them in post. Yeah, like it's very hard to tell. That's why it's good to take a whole bunch of pictures in different settings, especially when you're just beginning photography, right? So you don't want to work so hard to get all these pictures and go home and find out that they're overexposed or underexposed, right? But basically, this is the gist of it if you want to get nice, clean photos in a very dark environment. If you guys are interested in this setup, I'll link all the things down below in the captions sorry in the description for you guys so definitely check that out and also check out Johnson's Instagram to see his bangers on his GTI he has a sick car always taking quality content for you guys yeah, yeah.